hello there. Good evening and a very warm welcome to the Planet Cruise TV show. My name's Sean Murray. I always love our Tuesday evenings at eight because for the last 11 years, we've brought you amazing cruise deals, exclusive prices, exclusive offers, some last minute deals as well. And we certainly have got something for everyone tonight. I guess who's with me? I was copying my shirt, just in, in blue. Hang on, whoa, whoa, hang whoa, on, whoa, 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 hang on. No, I when we were first. in the green room, no, 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 when no, we were no, in the no. green room, I had this on first, and you had the white shirt on. And you were talking about what you're going to wear later, whether you're going to go light blue or dark blue, and you copied me. No, I, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> it looks better now. I'll let you off, I'll let you off. <laughs> but to be fair, your shoe option this evening is, is fantastic. I don't know whether you can see these, these fantastic Dapper Dans. So we've got going go. on down behind here. I've just yeah. gone for the, yeah. See, I'm ready for a cruise, aren't I? We, you know, you need boat shoes. Oh, or drivers. Okay. Drivers. Any, anyway, <laughs> these shoes are not included tonight with the cruises. <laughs> but we have got some amazing deals, haven't we? Do you know, tonight, we, we looked at the show, didn't oh, we, together earlier on. And just, there's something for everybody. I've, I've got to point out that if you're looking for a family cruise, we've got an amazing deal for a family of four coming up for you. In fact, that's actually going to be one of the first deals, so please stay tuned for that. And, we've got and a... that's due in half term as well, isn't it? Yes, yes. Which, is a, which is a rarity. We've also got some balcony cabins on that, but such limited quantity, you need to be getting on the phone lines quick. Uh, we've got a previous bestseller from Celestial, you know, fantastic Greek cruise line, tours included on that one. We've also and, got and a river. All inclusive. And all inclusive. I'll leave that yeah, to yeah, you. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, that's your speciality. <laughs> um, we've also got a river cruise, again, with all of the tours included on the Danube, finishing up in Budapest as well. Uh, and a cheeky couple of cruises. There's actually one cruise. If you've never been to the Azores, it's a rare opportunity to do it and not cross the Atlantic. It's usually a stop-off yeah. point for stores uh, for the ships, but it's actually coming back. I, I've never been to the Azores. That's with celebrity as well, isn't it? Uh, yes. It uh, is. Yeah, and a little bit later on, MSC Grandiosa. Fantastic price on MSC Yacht Club Suites. So um, yeah. that's all, yeah, st all still to come. Up. So, uh, a great show, as ever. Yeah, in matching shirts. <laughs> but we're going to start the show with this week's Hot Pick. That's, That's the it. one that you're supposed to do the... Dun, 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 well, I was leaving that to you. Can we, can, really? Can we, can we, no chance of playing that music again, is there? Really? Go, can we just this is going to become a thing. It is. The viewers are requesting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to work on that. I'll have to work on that. Anyway, this is the one that we're on about. Yeah, if you're Royal looking Caribbean. for a fantastic cruise line, I mean, Royal Caribbean is destination fun, great for families, and specifically why we've actually featured this one this evening is because we've got a family four price, which is, is, is going to be coming up for you. Well, it's on the screen, um, actually. Yeah, yeah. They, there you go. 1719 for four, for family yeah. four. Yeah. That is excellent. And the, the fact of the matter is, the actual options on cabins this evening, we've sold out of the inside, we've sold out of the outside. Yeah. They sold out before the show, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, and we, we were tempted to change the deal, but because we've got such a good price on this family of four, and the fact that it is during the school holiday as well. I mean, that is usually premium price and, and hard to get And I've of. actually been away with, with my uh, family, my niece and nephew, uh, we were all cabin, and they are brilliant for families and for everyone else, of course, as well. Uh, but we have got a few of the balconies. Uh, for seven nine nine per yeah, person. Yeah, only a few. I'm no, afraid. I really do have to warn you. <laughs> when no. we say a few, I mean phone Hang now. On. If you're interested, phone now, and you could get one of the last ones. Well, let's take you on board the wonderful explorer of the seas. Um, I've got very, very. I always get a very sort of warm feeling with Royal Caribbean because they were my very first cruise. They got me hooked. Uh, I got halfway up there. Just yeah, going. just great facilities with rock climbing, great sports out on deck. Uh, you know, well, that's the pitch and putt. Whether you go inside and chill on the ice rink, uh, as I said, the, the mini golf as well. Um, there's so much to do, and it's not just for the kids; it's the big kids as well. Um, so you know, if you're thinking about going away and want somewhere that's a destination, then it is. Uh, the dining options are just again superb. You can see the food there, whether it's the Columbus, whether it's the Miguel and Main restaurant, uh, you've got things like the Windjammer Cafe, Johnny Rockets as well, yeah. which has got to be a favourite, cheeky little cheeseburger, I mean who's it for? It's got to be for the lads, uh, for the lads. Um, also great entertainment on board, whether that's from the kids clubs, whether it's up to the shows as well, and for me, the, gr the, the Grand Promenade, including Ben and Jerry's ice cream, oh, that's just a great, And this great is why, you know, if you are going with that with the family, uh, or the extended family, 
there is something for absolutely every amazing entertainment. I, I, I never went ice skating, but I did watch the ice skating shows, and they are yeah. phenomenal. Well, the, you know, there's, there's been a resurgence of things like dancing on ice yeah, that has really increased the popularity. And I've got to tell you now, working closely with the entertainment department like I used to do with P&O, um, you know, the entertainment on board, some of the ships have actually got better theatrical settings uh, and trucks and hydraulics on the stage than some West End theatres. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Uh, and some better, you know, lighting rigs. So, so some of the shows that you see are just simply out of this world. And that's one of the reasons I love cruising, because I love entertainment, as does Justin. Now, it's nice and easy, this one, because you are cruising out of Southampton, so no flying whatsoever, and it also means that your crew starts straight away, doesn't it? Yeah, well, you don't have to worry about what uh, luggage to take. And if you don't if you don't like to fly, if you can't fly, then this is going to be perfect. For those of you that are maybe travelling further afield, I can't recommend highly enough the option of booking a night pre-cruise stay at the Holiday Inn in Winchester. We'll tell you more about that a little bit later on. But your first day is going to be at sea, and it's going to be taking in that fantastic ship. But your first port of call is the port of Hamburg. Got very special memories here. Uh, I went here during the Christmas markets. This is actually going to be a slightly different season just before. Um, you've got the lakes of the Ulster, uh, which is definitely worth a little bit of cruise. Um, and the main town centre and the, the, the town hall there, a lovely market square. And there's actually a really good restaurant as you go inside of that town hall. Um, so plenty to see and do. I mean, Hamburg, you've got dry docks for some ships. So if you're a little bit of a, not a train spotter, but a ship spotter, um, then you could go yeah, have a, a cruise around the, uh, the do. docks. Yeah, I'd do that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, or there's the Reaper Barn as well, uh, which or the St. Pauli District, which as soon as you get there, if you've ever been there, it's just St. Pauli, the skull and crossbones everywhere. Um, and if you love music, the Beatles, of course, this yeah, is one of the, of the classic um, sort of stomping patches uh, for the Beatles. But we go from Hamburg off to Rotterdam could be anywhere, Liverpool or Rome. No, we're not going there. We're going to Rotterdam, but it's such an iconic, you know, I mean, look, there's songs written about it. It's a very new and modern cosmopolitan city. Uh, the fact of the matter is, during the Second World War, a lot of this was destroyed, and this actually stimulated the growth. There are some little districts which are, um, well, you know, just a quintessential old school uh, Rotterdam. Delfshaven uh, is definitely one of the, uh, the areas. Go and see the windmills. This is about 15 kilometers outside of the city. Again, you can book tours for that. And there's the Kuykenhof, which is the tulip fields. Um, and that's definitely worth it. I actually did that when I was, I want to say 19 or 20. And it seems like a strange thing for a 19 or 20 year old to do. I found it really cool. Really? It was like, wow. This is bonkers. This is just this park, and it's just full of colours, and they're all perfectly lined up. So it, it kind of I'd fitted love in. Yeah, I'd love I like that. things that just fit in just right. You know, just <laughs> left, left a little bit, right a little bit. <laughs> anyway, then <laughs> Amsterdam. Well, you know, do yeah. some window shopping as you do. Um, now Amsterdam is fantastic. What do you want to do in Amsterdam? Because you've got the cultural side of it, and then you've got the cool side. Because you know the cafe culture, some it's just brilliant. You know, everybody riding around on their bicycles. They have multi-story bike parks I kid you not if you want to do the cultural side then you've got Anne Frank's house you've got the Van Gogh Museum Rembrandt's house the Royal Palace there's plenty to see and do but we're heading now for an overnight and this is overnight um, in a port called Le Havre which is the port of call for Paris now you can see there is a transfer time in so I'd recommend going in perhaps doing something late afternoon and then coming back later on the evening I tell you what, it's nice that you are there overnight though so you, know, you don't have to rush back are you yeah have you done Paris you know, I'm ashamed to say, no. No, and neither have I. You know, you think you travel the world I know. Um, doing cruise ship bands. It's isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I've, I've you know, been to Australia, been as far as New Zealand. Have you ever then... been to the Louvre? No. Have you no. ever been to the Champs-Élysées? No. Have you ever, ever been to the Arc de Triomphe or the Eiffel Tower? I mean, it's ridiculous when you think about it, isn't it? I know. Do you know what? There's a border terrier that's actually done more travelling in Europe than I have. <laughs> I was reading it. There's a couple that's just literally <laughs> sold everything out. I think his name's Pete, the border terrier, and he's just everywhere. But I get, this is what is so good about Dinner Cruise, though. You get to see so much in just one holiday. Um, and after your, uh, your stay overnight in La Havre, back to Southampton, isn't it? Back to Southampton, yeah, and that just wraps it up. But just to, to, to recap, I mean, just look at what you get there. For seven nights, a fantastic cruise ship. The, the uh, facilities on board are just exceptional. For a family of four, you can travel from 1719. Well, uh, let's just show some lovely restaurants there, by the way. Uh, uh, this is what's included. Now, it is last minute, so there, there have been some huge savings given to this cruise recently. Uh, now down balcony 799, but there's only a handful, there really is. 
You've got the overnight on board, as we just mentioned. A family of four starts at 1719. And if you, uh, if you are somebody that you know, doesn't live close to Southampton, you don't want to have the stress of driving down on the day, really worth adding a night at the Holiday Inn in Winchester from uh, only £95 per person. That includes breakfast, parking and port transfers as well. Exactly. Uh, price now we've got the balcony at 799 family for interior at 1719 but great upgrades for the ocean view and the balcony for family four as well yeah definitely but really please nice. if you do want that, that uh, double balcony that lead price is 799 you do need to call right now do don't watch the rest of the show pick up your phone now um, the guys are ready to take your calls and talk through all of the great thing that is included in that deal because that one it's not going to hang about no. for long um but if you're a regular, you know my favourite two words on the cruise show. And it is time for this week's Just Enjoy It In. What? You. He knows. Time for this week's incredible All Inclusive. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he like? Hang on, hang on. Incredible all in. That's not two, that's three. Well, I added the incredible on. Oh, dear. You know Stickler, that. come on. Accuracy. <laughs> Accuracy. All inclusive or incredible all inclusive. Spectacular all inclusive. It's still three words. We haven't got time to do anyway, it. Anyway, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but I, I always joke about it, but we both like an all-inclusive because it just makes it easy. You're not worried about a big bill at the end. Yeah, and I've got to point out that this isn't like one of these all-inclusives where you look at the, the brand of vodka or brand of rum or brandy and you go, who? Oh, that yeah. sounds like it, but it, it doesn't look like it. No, this is actually named brands that you will recognise. And having been on the ship itself... Oh, yeah, because um, we were on it last year. Yeah, they've, they've yeah. only got the two ships in the fleet. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, uh, the staff across both of them, even on a port day when usually the staff are like, oh staying on board the ship, want to go ashore. They were fantastic. The food in the restaurants was amazing. And Celestial, this is one of the previous bestsellers. One of the reasons why this cruise line does so well is because it's great value. It's just on that perfect point that the price is right, where you're going is right, you get tours included, and it's tours where you actually want to go. You know yeah, when you get yeah, a free tour uh, that's included, you're like, hmm, yeah, don't fancy that. that one. But this is to the historic sites that everybody, it's the port that you go to, and that's the main tour that's included. Uh, and, and even your tips, of course. Well. Yes, yeah, so we'll everything. take you through everything. Uh, and the price, bearing in mind this is for August, which is the most expensive time to cruise. Yeah. The price is amazing. But anyway, I, do, I do need to point out what? if any of you, uh, you know, just sat there going, yeah, I've got the suitcase just there. Do you fancy it? Do you, you up for it? You fancy it? We've got dates on the 5th of August. That's next Monday. If you pick up the phone tonight, then you could be actually cruising with this cruise line in Greece, all inclusive, with your tips included <laughs> and tours <laughs> on Monday. That's six yeah. days. How nice. Not too sure how many hours that is. I've run out of fingers and toes. Because uh, uh, the weather's a kind of, it's a bit patchy at the moment, so you could get away to the, the Greek islands. Uh, now, the ships there, you've been on, on the ships. They yeah. are, they're more intimate, aren't they? Yeah, 25,000 tonnes. It's, it's, it's 1,200 at capacity, 900 passengers on average. And the crew, they, they actually do a full season. Um, one of the reasons why this is so great is because... Uh, Celestial are specialists in this field. If you want to, say for instance, you, you want to uh, well, cruise the Greek islands, who do you go with? You go with the Greek operator. You know, If you're going yeah, to go to Canada, you go with the Canadian yeah. specialist. Um, this is prime example because the smaller ships, they're vibrant, they're great fun, they see beautiful places. And Santorini, I'm telling you now, I really cannot emphasize this, having a late sail or an overnight uh, on board in Santorini is a rarity. You can't actually book uh, a lot of hotels or even Airbnbs for less than um, a night or two nights in Santorini and you're getting that actual opportunity to do that um, so it really is fantastic I mean just imagine having like a, you know, an Aperol spritz or you know other brands are available whatever it may be just overlooking the sunset of where, where well just absolutely stunning absolutely stunning I've got to and say of course, a little I, bit of ouzo as well I, you know, I think when you think about the world the Greek islands, they are, they are some of the most beautiful in the world, by far, aren't they? Do you know what, I'm going gonna, gonna to be completely honest with you. I went into Athens many years ago with, with the, the cruise line, and, you know, you go to see the Acropolis, you do the touristy thing. Never really bothered me. 
about going to Greece. And then last year, the family, they were all going, oh, we're going we're gonna to go to Rhodes, we're going to go to Rhodes, got to see it, got to go there. And I was like, mm, OK, got there. And I was like... I like this. Yeah. Where are we going this year? We're going back. Yeah. And the great thing was, we actually saw one of these ships in the port in Rhodes. So, you know, actually seeing this firsthand, I'm telling you, it's brilliant. Well, um, they're always a top seller and say we've got amazing prices for August. But we fly from London to Athens uh, and then you embark the Celestial Crystal for a seven night cruise. Uh, and it's Mykonos, first of all, isn't it? Are you yeah, liking the music? Mykonos. I'm loving like the, the music. Zorba the Greeks playing in the background. It's just like a scene out of Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels. Anyway, um, as it gets quicker, let's start off in Mykonos. This is a hidden gem. I'm telling you now, back in the day, this was one of the first Greek islands to really explode. And if you love your vibrant sort of cafe culture, this is absolutely on the brim in the day and in the evening, I mean, I'm telling you now, it kicks off in the evening, it is busy, there's great nightclubs here, I mean you don't have to do that sort of thing, but that vibrance, it means that when you're sat in a bar it's not just flat and everybody looking at each other going, oh do you fancy another? No, you're like, oh come on let's have another, this is great, walk back to the ship, there is your hotel, it's just brilliant, absolutely great. It's, um, really, it's, it's one of my favourite islands, beautiful, and then I've not been to the next one actually. Milos, no. this, this is a hidden gem, really small place but it's famous for the statue without the arms, you know the one in... Um, Forget the, the museum now. I've got a feeling it might be actually at the Louvre. Okay. Um, it's the statue of Milos, um, uh, the, the Venus statue. That's the one. Um, I got there eventually. But look how beautiful that is. Even if you don't want to do cultural things, just get a little boat trip or a, a, a tour, snorkeling somewhere. Look at how blue that is. That's picture postcard perfect, or postcard picture perfect. Anyway, um, then we're off to Heraklion. This is where you get one of your tours included. Oh, you've missed out Santorini. Oh, sorry, I'm getting so excited. Yeah. And you're overnight. I just can't hide Santorino. it. And we I don't just want to miss out. <laughs> we don't want to miss out on Santorini. Well, I, talk, I talked it up so earlier, earlier on. Um, <laughs> did you see? Did you see that large circular, sort of almost cauldron? This is actually the uh, extinct crater of a, of a volcano, and this is where it's built. They believe that this is the site of Atlantis and one of the reasons being is they did a lot of archaeological digs here and dives and they found a lot of stuff in the actual bay. Now, I mean, this just sells itself, doesn't it? I mean, that is the whitewashed walls, it's the beautiful blue little domes. I mean, that is yeah. just going to be gorgeous. Stunning. Just imagine the temperature that night, the lovely glass of... Actually, well, some of, that, actually, you know some of the Greek wines that I actually tried while I was out in Rose, I was very impressed. Very yeah. impressed. And, you know, even if you're having your signature cocktail there, just... And here's a little tip. The staff are so good on the ship. Ask them where the best places are to go, because they're the type of staff that will probably tell you, and that, that's the insider knowledge. Anyway, on to Heraklion. We're going to Crete yeah. now. And this is where you get one of the tours included as well. And, uh, well, I mean, this has just got so much history. You know, the Venetians um, once owned it. Um, and we're going back 4,000 years. You've got the Minoan ruins, the Knossos Temple, uh, and the Knossos Palace as well, with a mythical Minotaur. Remember those wonderful stop-motion films? Yeah, yeah. And you used to have the Minotaur coming out and Medusa and all the head. I just, I love that. I'd just love to go there and just go, oh, I remember this when I was a kid. It's brilliant. Anyway, getting far too excited. Then we're off to Kusadasi. Now this again, this is history, just dense in history. Um, this particular tour that's included, this is again why you go with a Greek shipping line. They go there and they get there at the crack of dawn, they get there nice and early before it gets too hot, and before too it gets too busy, exactly. So if you do, and that is included, Ephesus, so you've got uh, things like the, uh, the Library of Celsus, uh, the Temple of Artemis, um, and this, we're talking seven ones of the world, the Temple of Hadrian as well, and the House of the Virgin Mary. I mean, that's just a few to, to name. But, uh, um, there uh, we go. And then uh, on to Athens, uh, where you disembark and, of course, transfer to port and fly back to London. Um, I, I will let you know, by the way, I forgot to mention we've got some great single prices on this as well. I'll tell you about those in a second. But this is what's included. It's everything. That's why it's such good value. So, all inclusive, and that includes tips as well as all of those amazing drinks. Uh, free shore excursions, and as Justin just said, really great excursions. They're the ones that you'd want to do, they're the main ones. Single, well, it's there. We've got a single available. 
from only 1459 and every time we have single availability on the screws they they do sell really quickly so uh, remember any single ladies and gents you could get away in the next few weeks from only 1459 and return flights based on london as well hey, here's a, oh, go on, i'm just, just thinking on. single special it worked for shirley valentine <laughs> i yeah. can't guarantee it but no, you know. can't guarantee how did that end? May, romance may vary. Did, I, I can't remember now. How did that end, actually, before we go there? Was she happy, or did she live there happily ever after, or was it one of those come back always, and go, oh, mm, oh dear? I think it was a bit up and down, wasn't it? So <sighs> we can't guarantee romance. It may vary, but there's a chance. Uh, but the single price is one four five nine. Anyway, there's a thing on the radio the other day. A lot of people are really happy being single. Yeah. Yeah. I don't get romantic anymore. I get rheumatic. <laughs> just wake up yeah. feeling stiff. It's it, just... Just thinking about my single years. Anyway, uh, 1459 is the single price. You're leading me astray, Justin, on this show. I wow. don't think you need leading me astray. Uh, so 1459 is that so single price for the 5th <sighs> of August. But for everyone else, uh, if you go there's a couple, great inside and outside prices there, and everything's included. That is amazing for August, which is a very expensive time of the year for any holiday. And then the drinks package, you've got great selection of spirits, beers, cocktails, uh, Greek flavored Uzo cocktails, non-alcoholic cocktails, uh, sodas, iced teas, juices, uh, everything is there, and a wide range of hot beverages as well. And excursions, these were really good ones, weren't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, really Heracli and Santorini, and uh, Kuzidasi as well, so all of those are included. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping to cruise with Celestial next year, because I've heard so many great things, and I'm hoping to take my mum, actually. We better but, not do that at the same time, there could be a whole lot of, no. Just imagine if we did a cruise together. With our mums? Yeah. That'd be great. Yeah. 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 I mean, I don't know, because, I mean, you yeah. know, my mum, Olive, a couple of sherries. She's a handful. Is she? Oh. <laughs> uh, my mum's my, 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 my got stain power. She... <laughs> if she has two sherries in a Mars bar, even more. <laughs> Dear me. But, Other um, chocolate bars are available. We, we, uh, we've got uh, next... Um, a fantastic cruise uh, with Norwegian Cruise Lines above Norwegian Jade, ship that I've been on, loved my experience. This, I mean, we were breaking this down. You know, yeah. You've got your Hong Kong stay, you've got a, an amazing 10-night cruise, you've got all your flights, and the price starts at 1749 And um, NCL have got an amazing promotion at the moment, haven't they? The free at sea. Yeah, we'll, we'll come to that. You can actually upgrade for just £149 per person, and you can get to choose two fantastic benefits. Now, cruise with benefits, you know, we're talking uh, premium beverages, speciality dining, Wi-Fi, or shore excursion credit. And you can choose two of those. That is, that is for £149 per person. I tell you what, next time I, I put a Facebook post on for the, for, uh, the cruise ship, we've got NCL, I'm going to do a survey. Which would you pick? Oh, yes. Go. Do a poll. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah what yeah. would you pick just out of interest? Well, you asked me earlier and it was pretty obvious, wasn't it? I know, all right. I do. Have we ruined it? Yeah, we did. What would you want? Wi-Fi and, Wi and drinks. Okay. Yeah, but this is... The, the, so, sorry, the, where were we? There we go. Uh, floor manager just said Wi-Fi and drinks. Curtis, yeah. Never, never, text, what, never text or Wi-Fi while drinking. Whole <laughs> packages start arriving. I went, I went away for one week, and the other half was like, what have you ordered? There's like three boxes arrived. <laughs> and I couldn't remember. I was like, what? what? Not too sure what, what a BMX bike and a pogo <laughs> stick was doing. But there we go. Um, um, let's go to Hong anyway, Kong. <laughs> you choose. You've got Wi-Fi. You've got speciality dining. Sure, excursion credit, credit rather, or the beverage package. But we're going to start off with a fabulous two-night stay in Hong Kong. And uh, here's a little taster. Some days, I feel like I'm racing against time. But in Hong Kong, whenever I want to, I can easily get away from it all. The beauty and tranquility of nature is just next to the city, where I also enjoy the warmth of the people. Come discover Hong Kong like a local. Uh, Hong Kong, an amazing place. Yeah. And you get a, a tour included, the Symphony of Lights tour as well. You know, I've um, done that, but it, it, yeah, it's spectacular. I've seen the lights. I was yeah. going to say, the, the actual harbour itself is 
got to be worth doing but that that's included as well it's one of those must tick boxes ask your crew specialist when you book a little bit more detail on that tour um, we've got so much to get through on this i mean the actual stay in hong kong itself i mean you know whether you're going to go to the vernicula railway go to victoria peak and just take a look at the the harbor the bay walk down some of the narrow streets yeah, you know yeah. and just see those fantastic and noodle uh, the little uh, hawker markets and the the little barrows it's just brilliant well that's just the start because you've then got a 10 night cruise on board the Norwegian Jade, here's a little look. Welcome to Norwegian Jade. 15 decks full of dining venues, bars, places to relax and places to dance the night away. So what are we waiting for? Let's go and take a look. From the moment you step on board, you'll be faced with your first dilemma. Where do you eat first? You could try the Asian inspired food of Jasmine Garden or maybe one of the two main dining rooms. But if you're a night owl, then head over to Oceans, an Irish themed bar serving food 24 hours a day. You can take in the flavours of Brazil at the Moderna Curaçao. If you fancy something with a bit of ooh -la, la and a Parisian touch, then head over to Le Bistro. If you want to relax with a speciality coffee and people watch, then the Atrium Cafe and Bar is the place to be. If you like a bit of a boogie, then head along to the Bliss or the Spinnaker Lounge. Or for those of you in need of a cocktail, then there's a Mixer, Martini and Cocktail Bar or the Sugarcane Mojito Bar. Jade offers two different kids clubs on board. Both clubs offer a multitude of activities to keep the young ones amused. But if that's not enough, there are always swimming pools, sports facilities, or the video arcade. Now while the kids are busy, this gives you the chance to relax and wear better at the Mandara Spa. With a host of spa treatments designed to put you in a very peaceful and tranquil mood, there is nowhere better to recharge those batteries. So whether you want to dance the night away or maybe you just want to watch someone else do it, Norwegian Jade has got it all. For a full-blown country music spectacular, head along to Blazing Boots. If country isn't your thing, then head along to Elements, where music, magic, and dance combine for a mesmerizing performance. From cozy, comfortable insides through to huge three-bedroom Haven Garden Villas, there's a huge choice of accommodation on board Norwegian Jade. But if you want to be treated like royalty, then take a look at the Haven, which is the most luxurious accommodation on the ship. You even get a private sun deck, concierge service, and of course, that all important 24 hour butler. Oh, very nice. Just want to apologise to Glenn putting his feet up on the, the balcony there. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> as if he owns the place. So. <laughs> anyway, um, the destinations oh, that are going on yeah. from Hong Kong. You're leaving the port there, fantastic sail away, day at sea, and then we're into Nha Trang. Now, this is, this is the Vietnamese capital of beach. It is just gorgeous. Just wonderful, wonderful facilities, um, and just just relax, just chill out the day. Then we're off to uh, Ho Chi Minh City or Pumi, the port of Pumi, um, and this is the former Saigon. Uh, of course, there's some great sanctuaries that you can go to. There's the the river cruise. There's the tunnels to the Viet Cong. If you want to do some of the uh, the sort of more historical stuff, then perfect. Another day at sea before a big overnight on board. We're into Lam Shebang, otherwise known as Bangkok City. Now Bangkok is just vibrant. In the daytime you've got fantastic historical um, visits to, to the Grand Palace. I mean you can go to Jim Thompson's place as well um, and then in the evening it just transforms. I mean you've got to go out to some of the hawker markets and experience some of the nightlife. Uh, and very nice uh, overnight because that means you're not rushing back or anything like that again. Uh, where's next then Justin? Uh, we're off to Koh Samui. I mean to be fair you're probably going to need a little bit of a chill out on the beach yeah. after a big and night in chill, Bangkok. Uh, oh yeah I'm mean, just look at it. This some fantastic temples here as well and islands uh, just whether you're snorkeling just chilling out along the beach there it is quite literally palm tree and, and line stretches of white sand gorgeous then we've got an overnight in Singapore to look forward to and you, they, you've got one day at sea going up there from the sky you can see there that's actually the gardens by the bay and the fantastic botanical gardens um, there's the Singapore flyer um, also, you've got the beautiful structures of the Marina Bay Sands Hotel, yeah. um, Raffles Hotel as well, where you can go and have some um, monkey nuts and then just throw them on the floor. It's, it's all right, it's customary. Um, the shopping here is fantastic. You've got the Anderson Bridge there as well. It's just brilliant. I mean, yeah, you know, I've done, done part of this itinerary um, and, it, and it was... You never even but... got off. You went to Sentosa Island, that was it. No, I, you know, I only had a night, well, a day and a night in Singapore. It wasn't oh. enough. Really? Come and see me and I'll give you all the best places for a night in yeah. Singapore. Talk and Ridge, if you do want to spend some extra time in Singapore, I'm sure Planet Cruise would arrange that for you. Just Where possible, we certainly do. Uh, but let's just show you 
what's included. So you do get the extra two nights in Hong Kong. Again, we could probably extend that should you wish. And the uh, Symphony of Lights tour. Over at board in Lam Shabang there for Bangkok and Singapore as well. And this is this is really good. It's been a been a very, very popular promotion. You can upgrade to free at sea from only £149 per person. So you can choose two extra benefits from premium uh, beverage package, specialty dining, Wi-Fi or shore excursion credit as well. Great, just great to have the choice though, isn't it? Because all like different things. A return flight is based on London. Price with this is amazing, this one. Uh, price is starting at 1749 and just a little bit extra for the outside the balcony. The suite is really good, actually. Isn't it? Tell you now, how much would flights be out to Hong Kong? How much would flights be back from yeah. Singapore? And your hotel stays. Yeah, it's just brilliant. Uh, we've um, just got a, a cheeky little deal now. Cheeky. cheeky? Cheeky. Cheeky little deal. There you go. <laughs> from uh, Fred Holson. I don't know why I use that word, but, um, but it's a very good price. I'll Forget tell you the that. Chuckle Brothers, it's like the Cruise Brothers here. <laughs> right? um, 11 nights, uh, it's a flash sale basically. Flash sale. Uh, look at this, 11 nights, 869. Yep. That works out under £80 per person per night. And that is for August as well. Yeah, and look at where you're going, La Coruña, uh, Vigo, Madeira, Lisbon. They've got the Bell End Tower just in the background there. Just fantastic to, to go to those ports. And uh, well, yeah. get on the phone. That is really good, and I've, I've, I've cruised with Fred Olsen, really lovely, more small and intimate ships, great service, great food, and uh, at that price, an absolute steal tonight. But it is time for our uh, river cruise. Um, I've been very lucky, I've, I think I've done 30 cruises now, yep. but I'm yet to experience a river cruise. Very tempting. Well, take a look at this and you'll see what river cruising is all about. Um, because uh, let's just say that what you get included, and it's a different style. You know, we, we say about cruising being very relaxed, but this is quite literally the scenery passing your windows and your balconies, whether it's in Budapest, they're the fantastic central parliament building, one of the biggest in Europe. Um, uh, and of course, Budapest, thousands of spas as well. You've got the fantastic cultural Jewish quarter. You've got a, a student sort of vibe that's going on, a fantastic food market there as well. Looking forward to actually uh, seeing that uh, this week. But it's oh, just a, a whole feel. The I whole love, feel I, yeah. of it. I, I, I love it. Been there a few times. Yeah. Let's just say, if you like city breaks, this is like a, yes. a, a series of city breaks. And one of the great things of Riviera is they include uh, a lot of the tours as well. So they're, they're, I, I'll try and squeeze in everything that you get included. But the best thing to do is when you call tonight, uh, if you're interested in about it, just talk through with your cruise specialist and they'll explain it in a little bit more detail as they have a little bit more time than we do. So... We've, we've flown you, first of all, to Budapest. Yep. Um, no George Ezra. Don't say George Ezra. <laughs> Other songs are available. <laughs> huh? I'll be riding. I wasn't even go. thinking anyway. that. Um, anyway, okay. anyway, you actually cruise from Budapest overnight, and your first port of call is Estegon. Now, uh, this, you've got beautiful medieval buildings here, and you've got some really great neoclassical basilicas. You can see the blue roof there. It's just absolutely stunning. stunning. The, the castle's also worth exploring. Um, you get your first lunch on board as you actually leave this wonderful port, and uh, this just gives you a fascinating opportunity to compare the different landscapes and towns and villages of Hungary on one side of the banks and Slovakia on the other. Uh, we're off to Bratislava next. And this morning, um, you're going to get a chance to go on a guided tour around Bratislava. Um, now, this has got great history. You've got that vibrance now after uh, the sort of communist past, but you've still got the splendour of the old town. Um, the afternoon is actually cruising down into Lower Austria, and you get a chance to actually see some of the lovely cobbled quaysides and half timber buildings there. Um, there's actually a few locks as well, so if you like a little bit of engineering, then going through the locks will be quite an interesting experience and process to go for. Um, you're actually having the dinner that evening in Dernstein. Now, the following day, you're going to get a chance to explore Dernstein and also the popular town of Melk. Now, Dernstein is known principally for two things. First is the ice blue tower of its abbey, and you get a chance to go there. This is where Richard the Lionheart was actually imprisoned and held ransom during the Crusades. Uh, but after lunch, you actually go to the Melk Abbey as well. Um, so, uh, you know, originally a castle, it's actually a Benedictine order that goes back to the 11th century, um, and it's, it's renowned for its 214 yard um, long emperor's gallery with portraits and 
all that jazz. Um, you're actually going to rejoin the ship and dinner is served on, on board as you actually cruise upstream. And now, well, Linz and Salzburg as well. Um, you get a chance to stay in the city and take a guided walk-in tour, which is included, and have a look around the old Baroque town. Or alternatively, you can drive to Salzburg. And, well, I mean, you've got to go to this a beautiful palace called the Helbrun Palace. You've got the formal gardens and the Mirabelle Palace as well. That's worth seeing. Um, and, of course, if you love classical music, any classical oh, music yeah. fans, a little bit of Mozart as well. Oh. So uh, I, I'm sorry we couldn't afford the, uh, the Mozart uh, to accompany <laughs> this. Uh, but you can, you can feel that, you know, the general vibe is there. I mean, you know, it's not as if he achieved anything great like writing his first uh, orchestra um, at the age of 11. Um, I'm just trying to think what I was doing at the age of 11. Oh, actually, no, I was doing some pretty cool things. Anyway, that's for another night. Don't, um, think, don't think I was, but anyway. <laughs> um, Vienna is nice, doesn't it? I was doing some pretty cool things at 11 o'clock this morning. Anyway, um, <laughs> Vienna, uh, let's, let's head along one of the, the wonderful boulevards of Baroque architecture and a rich tapestry from the Belvedere Palace that you can see there. Um, one of the most iconic monuments is St. Saint, uh, Saint, I'll get it out in a second. St. Stephen's Cathedral. Uh, beautiful Gothic South Tower there. Um, it really is one of those places you've got to see. There's, there's the Imperial Apartments as well. Uh, there's some great museums. And you get a tour in the morning and get a chance to explore in the afternoon on your else. There is, a, there is a, an optional tour as well uh, where you can go uh, to uh, Prater um, and you can go. You can get these wonderful Ferris wheels. It feels like one of those um, sort of James Bond Cold War thrillers. It's just brilliant. It's absolutely stunning. Anyway, then you finish up in Budapest with an overnight on board. Which would be really nice. Little house in Budapest. It's um, yeah, really good. I, I think yes. Yeah, so I've never never done a river cruise. I've never been do. to Budapest. I've been to Budapest. Yeah. A few Get times. across the bridge, go to the old town, go up the top. Oh, it's a wonderful. Place. See, I tell you, the Parliament. There's a lovely. It's actually quite quite sombre, but there's a lovely memorial down at the front. Very very moving. I was just thinking though, I think for my first river cruise, this is the perfect one to do, isn't it? Mm. Also, just to lighten it a little bit, there's a pinball museum as well. Is there? Yeah, you know, like, just imagine like a like cavern a bar. You can go in, and I can't remember how much it is now. I mean, a few years ago, it was probably about 10 or 12 euros. And all of the pinball machines are on free play. So you can go like oh. to the 1950s ones that have got like old doorbells that ring. And then you go right up to the classics like Robocop and Batman, I Back to the Future, Star them. Wars. It's just, you know, pinball wizard? Yeah. Pinball wizards. Um, in terms of, of luxury, when you look at... See, river cruises in the old days, you'd think of very basic ships. But look, look at, at the balconies. I know, um, stunning. Yeah, and bear in, uh, bear in mind, these ships are designed for the actual rivers of the Danube. And I just want to point out, sorry, I should have said this earlier on, only a maximum of 169 passengers. Wow. 169 passengers. And look at those balconies, floor to ceiling glass. And Absolutely stunning. Just, uh, well, let's show you what's included, because we've got a variety of, uh, of balconies available as well. Now, if you book tonight, everyone that books tonight will get a £25 MS voucher as well. Deposits. Now, if you book uh, for next year's sailings, you've got deposits starting from just a pound per person. And because this, um, particularly this river cruise, it does sell very fast, you could reserve tonight from just a pound per person for sailings next year. Uh, and excursions included, as we, as we mentioned. Um, you can add on drinks with meals from just uh, £109 per person. I would definitely do that. And the single, now there's not a huge amount available, but we have got singles starting at just 1599 That's based on the 30th of July and the uh, 20th of August for dates of next year, of course. Turn flight's based on London and the ships differ slightly just depending on departure dates. Let me show you the prices for the, uh, the various, say, uh, rooms and the singles as well. Um, the real, I mean, if you can stretch it, that deluxe French balcony suite is superb, isn't it? Oh. That's one of the really nice balcony. But when, when, when you actually think about what's included and what you get, you know, so again, going back to the whole and, tour situation, you've got to go and do some of these things. And, and just quickly, if you look at the July and August dates there, that's the one where there's no single supplement. So, 1599, yeah. but they will sell very quickly. So, I would reserve those uh, tonight. Remember, you've got that, that pound uh, per person deposit. But if you want the single prices, I would definitely reserve those tonight if you possibly can. But some great, great, say, uh, options and upgrades there as well. But we're going to move on to Celebrity Cruises. Ruth isn't with us tonight. No. No. She'll be watching. Hello, Ruth. Ruth from Celebrity. I know she'll be watching. Making sure you behave. I'm just sitting up straight. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> oh, Ruth might be watching. Um, Celebrities, many of you know, I, I've cruised Celebrity eight times now. Um, five-star modern luxury. 
looking tonight, this is an 11 night cruise. Mm. Um, the price is only 1849, and that's the ocean view. So you get all the extras like the drinks package, onboard spend. But you pointed out something very important. Very rare to go on the Azores on a Canavis cruise, isn't it? This is a very, very rare itinerary. Yeah, all jokes aside, to... by the way, if, if Ruth is watching, and, and for those of you that know Ruth who comes on the sofa you know, quite regularly, um, I think she just exists. She's a great brand ambassador, yeah, actually, yeah. for celebrities. She's just got that elegance and that class, and that's that modern luxury that they encapsulate on board their ships. She just lives and breathes it. Yeah. It's just brilliant. Um, yeah, got a great itinerary. Oh, right. um, and uh, well, and we've an got, amazing ship. Yeah, and out, in and out of Southampton. Um, do you know, Glenn, Glenn was on the show last week, and um, he said that he just. Everyone that's ringing, uh, you know, was, that was ringing him last week, all saying what celebrity cruises have got. So let's give you a little taste here of these uh, beautiful ships. As, as Justin said, five-star modern luxury. So I, I, I feel I know celebrity inside out because I've, I've been on so many cruises, but always had an amazing experience. I love the, um, love the entertainment. I yeah, mean, it's, it's, it's actually groundbreaking. Some of it. Um, you'd like the Persian Garden, I'm sure. Oh, like definitely. Yeah. I'll, I'll probably be at the Martini Bar and the Tuscan Grill. Um, of course, if you, if, you, if you want your you know, fine dining experiences or your clean um, uh, dining experiences, you'd, you'd probably recommend Blue, wouldn't you? Yes. Yeah, and we've got a really good price for, uh, for Apple Class tonight as well with the Blue Restaurant. Really good one, actually. We'll, we'll come back to that in a second. Yeah. But the actual destinations, so, for those of you I, that... I think I need glasses. I'm looking at, I'm looking at the Aqua Class price. We'll, we'll, we'll give you them later, but they're really good. Yeah, they do. They're it's really not good. very often that you hear value with the words uh, celebrity because, you know, of the luxury that you get, but that... That is great value. Um, anyway, if, if, you, um, if you can't fly, if you don't like to fly, you can t take as much luggage as possible. You can. I was actually surprised. I just flew out a couple of days ago. I had 29 kilos in my luggage. I don't know how I did it. <laughs> did you? I don't know how I did it. I was like, <laughs> shoes, hair dryer, straighteners. Anyway, um, <laughs> anyway, all the, all all the essentials. essentials uh, heading out of Southampton, two days at sea, and we're going straight to Ponta Delgado, going to the Azores. This is stunning. See, I've never been to the Azores. You never, no. never. Oh, you've, no. got to, you've got to get off. I just, I just got off. And, and walked along the promenade. This is where you want to go to some of the volcanic craters. A uh, good friend of mine, cruise director, who's still actually cruising now. Um, it's one of his favourite ports because it's such a rarity. Let's just say it is a green gem in the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, talking of gems, uh, we're going to go to Madeira, and this is one of my oh, yeah. well, it's one of my last actual ports of call. Famous uh, Great British sail away from Madeira. Um, this is just famous for Madeira. Why Madeira cake? Your birds of paradise uh, flowers. The flower market itself. Um, just a, a stunning, stunning island. Uh, climate can be changeable. One minute it, it's rain, the next minute is gorgeous bursting through sun, sun, sunshine. But it's always generally but, warm, isn't yeah, it? But yeah, but that's why you've got that lush green yeah. Uh, tropical climate it is, it is really brilliant. Um, off to another classic port, Tenerife. Many of you may have had uh, you know, a couple of weeks with your family there. Great memories as the kids were growing up. Go back and see the island. Uh, you know, my, my other half, the, the outlaws or the in-laws, whichever you want to call them. Um, if, do you know if Linda's watching now? Oh, dearie me. Uh, my uh, my mother-in-law, Linda, she'll be watching. She'll go, hey, you. Um, they used to live in Tenerife and they, they left. Oh. I mean, what would you leave the UK for, huh? Up sticks over to Tenerife. It was that good. Um, but uh, they, they've got some very fond memories over there. And uh, yeah, it's always good to go back. Anyway, nice relaxing day at sea. And they're into Lisbon. Again, this, this is a city break in a day. You can do the, uh, the trams. You can do the Lisbon Bridge or the 25th of April Bridge. Um, there's several different districts. I'd head straight to the shopping district. Um, there is a lovely shoreline with some great sort of marinas and little bars and restaurants there. Um, but uh, the cable car is, uh, not the cable car, the, the trams are definitely worth doing it. And you can actually walk to, to that tower, the, the Torre de Belém, um, which is from the bridge. You just walk down past the Monument of Discoveries and then on down to the tower. It's just a lovely wander out. Great really place, is great. great. Uh, then two days at sea. You know, I, I love days at sea with celebrity because the ship's mm. amazing. There's always so much to do. Up on the lawn club. Yeah. Just a little bit of real grass oh. up on the top deck. Little cabana they're, as well. Honestly, they're lovely days. They're little cheese are. and pickle sandwich with a little, uh, little pork pie. No, I've never, never pot pies no, and cheese. I'm and sure you can, you can get a little sure. spread up there. I'm sure there'd be something lovely. Yes. Um, so, a little bit more salubrious. I was going to say, Matt, but oh. this is one of my favourite areas. The there you go. There's, there's the long, long club. Um, it is, it's real, by the way. Yeah. I um, can't emphasise this enough. I, and I never see it being cooked, but it's always immaculate. So, there you go. Uh, but beautiful outdoor uh, spaces with celebrities. Look, there's, there's the little oh. alcoves. Definitely, really is. Um, now, in terms of what's included, well, 
I would definitely go for the Ocean View and above because you'll get a free classic drinks package and you know how good that drinks package is. Free on board spend and prepaid gratuities as well if you go for Ocean View and above. So everything there is included. And that added value uh, for all the drinks, the credit, uh, is worth over $750 per person. So if you add up the price of the drinks package, because it is, you are away yeah, the, on, the, a, on a, you know, it's a 11 night cruise. So all I would say is there's so much included with that. That's why yeah. $750 per person. Give us a call tonight and get one of the specialists to talk you through what's included on this. Because when you realize, that's when you go, that is great value for celebrity. And you know I mentioned about the um, aqua class? Oh yeah. Look at this. Now that is honestly, what Con gas or sing gas? <laughs> that is one of the best prices we've ever seen for Aqua Class. And with Aqua Class, if you're not familiar with it, um, loads of extra privileges, including dining at Blue Restaurant every night, access to the Persian Garden. So loads of extra privileges. So that is really good, really mm. good um, on both the dates there. But 2135 on the 13th of October. We've already had sellouts. So do be quick on this one. Uh, drinks, we mentioned that amazing drinks package and that includes a huge variety of, of teas, coffees, uh, bottled water that you can take on obviously on your excursions. Huge um, amount of branded spirits, all the top brands there. Great wine selection and everything else. So a great, great drinks package. Um, what a show. What a show. And we've still got another jingle to squeeze in as well. So I'll let you do this one. Let, yeah? Yeah, yeah go on. it's now time for our early bird special. <laughs> that wasn't too much, was it? No, it was nice and subtle. <laughs> yeah? What? You quite like dancing, don't you? I d yes. Yeah. This is, is actually why I'm still fame for. This know, is why I'm, I'm... I know you might be watching the kid, but he's actually quite good. Right? Yes, yeah. qualified ballroom Latin dance teacher, don't you know? Yeah. Yes. I used to trip the light fantastic in some of the ballrooms. I actually think when we do our next big birthday with Planet Cruise, like our 12th year, we should... Yes. 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 I caramba. Yeah. We could start with you doing some amazing dancing. Really? Right? Yeah. Just, okay. a, just an idea. Um, anyway, <laughs> MSC and next. Try and get that um, push past the board. <laughs> yeah, like, um, now, MSC, um, again, beautiful ships. Like, stunning. Yeah, but why is this special? Because it's an early bird special. You can get in early on this one for dates in 2020. I do. We have found that, that so many times recently, over the past year, the, the, the early birds that did get in early did get a great price. Mm. And this is only it's 9 to 9 for the balcony, mm. basically. But anyway, we are going to give you a little taste now because the ships are amazing, aren't they? They are fantastic. They are quintessential, that Mediterranean feel and that Italian vibe. Just look at those wonderful steaks and truffles and gelato and some wonderful red wines as well. I just, just, just superb. I'm, I'm feeling really hungry and thirsty now. Oh, don't. I I don't. I, really I didn't get a chance to eat because of all your fucking I mean, you about did, earlier did you on. Know. I know. Um, I know. Uh, on this offer, by the way, exclusively with Planet Cruise, you've got £50 per person on board spend, and you will get, imagine this, the Cirque du Soleil show. That will be included in your price tag, and that yep. will be spectacular, won't Yeah, it? and it's got one of my favourite uh, exclusive areas, the Yacht Club. I know you were talking about the Persian Garden, uh, but for me, I mean, for the kids, fantastic. You've got brands like Lego uh, that have, uh, have teamed up with MSC, so you've got fantastic entertainment for all ages and well let's face it if any cruise line's got Swarovski crystal encrusted staircase how many crystal how many crystals are in that staircase so that? that's what I want to know I want to know you know when you go to see the the, the ice um, ice carving demonstrations and by the way this is your yacht club oh yacht club sorry yes yes um, we've got great price on that tonight haven't we yes and all joking aside all the drinks inside the yacht club venues are included yes. in that price so uh, when we get to that that's definitely worth highlighting and some of the facilities on this ship is just out of this well it's, it's a different league um, and you can see that incredible entertainment Look how yeah. visually stunning yeah. that is. But they haven't seen my ballroom Latin dance ex extravaganza. <laughs> no, but we're, we're going we're gonna to show you that on the show, I, I guarantee it. Now, we, um, we're flying from the UK to Genoa uh, and boarding the uh, MSC Grandiosa there for a seven-night cruise. First part is Naples, isn't it? Naples, quintessentially Italian. This is uh, allegedly the birthplace of the pizza. 
e pizza, gotta have a little pepperoni, uh, or uh, the avola, the avola, not the avola, the avola, that's the chilli hot ones. Oh, yeah, I tell you, nice. it's spassy, spassy, really hot. Um, but no, it's brilliant, there's some great coffee shops here as well, and again, the Italians do coffee the proper way, it's got that fizz and buzz of Vespas and Latin Brettas everywhere, uh, it's a brilliant, brilliant city, and of course, if you want to go further afield, I mean, the, the, the world is your oyster, the Malfi Coast, you've got Capri, um, uh, uh, just brilliant. Now we're off to uh, Messina, the Straits of uh, the boot of Italy, and uh, this again, a windy city, but you've got the castle there on the rock, um, and very much a completely different feel. Culturally, you sort of uh, almost got that sort of uh, mama special recipe sort of feel, you know, that, that great family uh, setting around the, the dinner table. Uh, then we're off to Valletta. Now, this is one of my favorite ports. I'm telling you now, going to Malta, um, whether you're heading right. off to see some of the great churches or cathedrals, um, for me, enjoy a leisurely breakfast on the aft end of the ship while you're having just, just uh, across the views. The, the actual port itself is, is absolutely stunning. Then we've got a day at sea just to break, break it up, and then we're off to Barcelona. Now, Barcelona, of course, you've got, you've got to go up the uh, La Ramblas, um, but just have a little bit of a, an exp explore down the, uh, the side streets. Uh, and the Gaudi buildings are fantastic. The parks are fantastic. Got to go to su su Sagrada Familia. It is worth going inside, but do you know what? Even if you go just outside, just have a little bit of wander. Um, there's a great bus as well that goes around Barcelona right up to uh, the park. Oh, the name's just escaped me. You can actually get a cable car across the, um, the port itself and go into Montjuï Park. You used, you used to hold a Grand Prix there, actually, many years ago. Don't know whether you know that or not. Uh, but it's worth going out there and seeing the castle. So lots to see and do in Barcelona. And then we're off to Provence. We're off to the port of Marseille. And, uh, well, if you love the south of France, then you'll love this. It is just absolutely stunning. The little ports oh. and harbours, lovely little lunch, perhaps the, the um, oh, was it mussels and chips, you know, with the, the white wine sauce. Oh. Oof. And the rosés are really good in Provence as well. A good friend of mine told me. Um, and then back there we go. to uh, Genoa and you disembark and you're transferred to the airport and fled back to UK. Again, I just, you know, I look at the item there, so many different experiences over those seven nights. Um, and no matter where you go during the day, you always come back to this, this amazing mm. ship. I mean, you look, you look at the theatre, out of I mean, this world. The Grandiosa is fabulosa. Yeah, absolutely. It really is. Um, I, you know, I love cruises, I really do, and this is why, because... That, this is the Yacht Club. Oh. There there's a casino. And there's a casino as well. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, though. No, look, look at the Yacht Club. I mean, just imagine sitting there, and again, your drinks are included in there. It's, it's very much, think of it like an airport lounge, where it's a reserved area, you've got concierge service there, you can book your tours early, you, you've got your button service there as it's, well. It's often it's just, described as a ship within the ship. Yeah. Uh, and we have got a, an excellent price on the Yacht Club Suites tonight. So this the, the only negative is when, when somebody asks you, they're, they're, they're like, oh, what type of uh, cabin have you got? Have you got an outside? We've got a balcony. You go, yes, well, we've got Yacht Club. Well, look at the price of the yacht club. Bag. Exactly. That is really good. I am um, really good. Uh, but you will get tonight a free inside to balcony, and uh, that balcony will be really impressive. So that is included tonight with the tips. Exclusive fifty pound per person on board spend. The Cirque du Soleil show is free with this offer as well, and uh, the MSC yacht club. Look, if it is a special occasion and you want to have that whole suite experience. That is honestly one of the best prices we've ever seen. 1895 return flights based on London. Very, really like them all. I'm just, I'm, the, the, only, the only thing I just wanted to point out the, 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 the music, it's not very Godfather, going to Sicily. <laughs> you know, needs, needs a single violin instead of mandolin. Is that a mandolin? Or a <laughs> Price wise, we are giving you an upgrade tonight from the inside to the balcony. So you'll get the balcony for 9 some night, and as we said, that Yacht Club Suite at 1895. Family of four there, uh, £2,675. We are going to be busy tonight, but it is that time to uh, remind you of all the, all the great Just going to swipe right. We're we starting out some new music for you. Uh, you? Anyway. Yeah? <laughs> we started off with Royal Caribbean, and we sold out, seriously, just before the show, we sold yeah. out of the inside, the outside, We've got a few of the balcony remaining. This one's just been reduced, that's why it's gone so quickly. So the balcony 799, we only have a few, but 
the best deal for a family of four, 1719. Bear in mind, if you look at the date, that, for many of you, that will coincide with half term. So, yeah. to get away with the whole family for uh, just over £1,700, I think it's an amazing value. Yeah. Right? Next up, we had a previous bestseller with Celestial Cruises, and this is heading around the Greek Isles, including three free great tours. Uh, we've got some great single special prices included on this one, but look at it, it's all inclusive. With the tips included, just 1199 per person uh, on that one. And the ID number is 162957. Then, Norwegian Cruise Lines, um, another wonderful cruise. I mean, this includes your Hong Kong stay, Vietnam, Thailand, Singapore. Um, two nights in Hong Kong, and that will include your Symphony of Lights tour. You've got the overnights in uh, Lang Shabang there for Bangkok and Singapore. Huh? You can upgrade. Now, this is really good, and it's been working so well. Yep. We all like choice, so for an extra £149 per person, you can have two extra benefits, and they could be the premium beverage package, specialty dining, Wi-Fi, or short excursion credit there as well. Uh, deposit only tonight, but the price there starts at just £1749. Uh, and you actually look at the date as well, Valentine's Day, you could be flying away on Valentine's. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah you old romantic, oh, you. Oh, yeah, you see, I I spotted that one. Then yeah, you're uh, flying been... out. You're flying out that day, aren't you? Oh, yeah, that'd dear. be nice. Really? A few oh. drinks on the plane. Yeah. Behave. Yeah. Behave. Anyway, um, next up we had our river cruise, and this is on board the William uh, William Wordsworth. Do you know? I was trying to work out. Put I your words in. Yeah, I, I was asking you uh, what, why I recognise the name William Wordsworth, apart from the fantastic poet who was born in Cockermouth and died in pneumonia. But it's Jamie and the Magic Torch. Remember the dog? It was Wordsworth, wasn't it? You had the torch. Oh. Wordsworth. Yeah. Anyway, um, this river cruise. Yeah. <laughs> river How do we get onto that? I love the way your brain works, Justin. Oh dear. Just anyway, Riviera, do you fancy going up the Danube and ended up in Budapest? Um, I'll take that because you could be going out as early was it was that one that yeah, we had the uh, no, that was another cruise. Oh, I'm getting all hot and bothered here. Um, £25 worth of M&S vouchers included. Deposits from as little as a pound on selected dates sailing from 2020. And bear in mind your excursions are included. There's a drinks package available, a single special price as well. Call us now and find out more. That single will go quickly, just to warn you. Then we had Celebrity. Um, wonderful 11 night. Portugal and Azores. And you get to see Tenerife as well. The ocean view is only 1849. Bear in mind this is for 11 nights. It's not a short cruise, it's 11 nights, which is doing great length actually. Free drinks packages on ocean view and above. You'll get $300 on what's spent and prepaid gratuities on ocean view and above, that's per person. And those, those extras, like the drinks package and the onboard credit, they add up to over $750. Per person. Um, so, yeah, very, very good value there. And don't forget, what was the, um, oh, we'll, yeah, the Aqua Class 2135 for the 13th of October? Yeah, don't forget, we've got one more uh, deal as well from MSC Cruises. This is heading around, uh, well, a fantastic rate of port ports of call there. You've got a free inside to outside balcony upgrade with tips included on that one. Exclusive £50 per person on board spend, a free Cirque du Soleil show included. And a great price. I mean, when I say great, I mean seriously good um, on uh, the Yacht Club uh, yeah. from 1895. Um, do you know I might even book that one because I've got new holiday allowance that starts on the 1st of April next year. Oh. Uh, let's get using it. Is that? Uh, no, 1st of April. April Fool. No, that's when I get it, honestly. That's really? when we get our holiday allowance, isn't it? Yeah, Joe's not doing it. Uh, then we have Phil Olsen deal, just came in. Uh, it's a flash savings offer, £100 per person off. Brings the price down to eight, six, and nine, and that's the uh, eleven night Madeira, Spain, and Portugal from Southampton. ID number one seven two eight six eight. That's for the twenty seventh of August, so four weeks time. Justin, thank you so much. Yes, thank, thank you very much to our camera crew as well, yes. and uh, everybody uh, directing and producing as well, and yourself. Are, are you back? Pleasure. <laughs> it's a pleasure. A couple of weeks. Um, back in two weeks. We will see you in two weeks. <laughs> Great as ever. Turn and smile. Yeah. Get on the phone lines and book your cruise with Planet. Hiya, thanks for watching the video. Now don't forget to like, comment and subscribe below. Remember to click that bell to get all notifications and if you're looking for more fantastic travel video content, like this click on the videos to the right hand side. It'll be really informative. Or click on the Planet logo to the left to go to our website for some fantastic deals. Keep cruising.